Okay, so now that we've clarified that this is the distinction that the Salaf make, and there are hundreds, literally hundreds of uh, quotations, we'll now look at some of the statements of some of the people of this century. As I said before, that every innovation will always have its supporters, and its aiders, and its revivers, even though we might not necessarily label these individuals as innovators, because it's not for us to do that, it's for the ulama to do that, this still doesn't mean that they are not the supporters of innovation, and they are not the revivers of the bidah, and they are not the ones who promote their thought and methodology. So the first thing that we'll quote is from Sayyid Qutb, from his Dilal uh, al-Qur'an, and we'll see how he's been one of the heads of the revival of this bidah, of the khawarij. So he says, for example, uh, in volume 2, Ya Rahmatullah, volume 2 of uh, Dilal, page 1058. So he says, uh, that mankind this day has apostatized. And, when, and has fallen into the worship of the servants, and has gone to the, or has adopted the oppression of the various religions. And they have left this uh, La ilaha illallah. They have abandoned this La ilaha illallah. Even if a small group from them declare it in the, you know, the minaret when they say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. Even if, even if a small group of them still do this, without even knowing its meaning, or understanding its meaning, sorry. And even if they repeat this phrase without, uh, without rejecting that this hakimiya or this, this, this hakimiya should only be for Allah uh, alone. And without rejecting the fact that this hakimiya has been given to uh, the servants themselves. So see, see here how in one sweeping statement, without any tafsil or distinction, the whole of mankind has become a kafir, even though they say, La ilaha illallah within the minarets and so on and so forth. And the fact that, that they repeat this phrase, La ilaha illallah, without even understanding what it means. And the meaning with Sayyid Qutb of La ilaha illallah is, La hakima illallah. It's not the understanding of the salaf, meaning, La ma'bud. There is no one who has a right to be worshipped. Besides Allah, in all its various forms, mahabba, khawf, raja, from the internal actions, from the statements of the tongue, and the actions of the limbs. Not this comprehensive definition of the salaf, but rather his own narrow-minded, restricted meaning, which is there is no uh, judge or ruler except Allah. So this is what it means, that the mankind in general have apostatized, because they don't understand and push this meaning. The second uh, uh, statement... Again, same uh, quote. He says, and in the Arabic it's very clear, فَقَدْ اِرْتَدَّتْ الْبَشَرِيَّةِ إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ الْإِبَادِ وَإِلَىٰ جَوْرِ الْأَدْيَانِ وَنَقَصَتْ عَنْ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَإِنْ ذَلَّ فَرِيكٌ مِّنْهَا يُرَدِّدُوا عَلَى الْمَآذِ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ دُون أَنْ يَدْرُكْ مَدْلُولَهَا وَدُون أَنْ يَعْنِي هَذَا الْمَدْلُولِ وَهُوَ يُرَدِّدُهَا وَدُون أَنْ يَرْفَضْ شَرَعِيَّةِ الْحَاكِمِيَّةِ الَّتِي يَدْعِيهَا يَدْعِيهَا الْعِبَادِ لِأَنفُسِهِمْ And then he continues, he says, again same thing, except that mankind this day, on this day, have returned to the jahiliyyah and have apostatized from La ilaha illallah. So they have given those servants uh, the specific and unique characteristics of uluhiyyah. And uluhiyyah to him, as we know, is hakimiyyah, nothing else. And they have not uh, acted upon uh, the Tawheed of, of Allah as he sees it. And neither have they uh, purified their allegiance or, and their loyalty to Allah alone. So what he's trying to say is that in his view, uh, because of this rule, and this uh, the right to rule, sorry, has been taken away from Allah and given to mankind, so the khawarij of the, of the old, who said to Ali, that you've taken the rule away from Allah and you've given it to men, then you've disbelieved on account of that. And Sayyid Qutb, that, uh, that they have apostatized from La ilaha illallah, because they have given this uh, 
characteristic of uluhiyya, which is al hakimiyyah to him, and you have given it to the servants themselves. And then he continues and he says that mankind in its entirety, the whole of the whole of them, despite the fact that there are some amongst them who repeat uh, in the minarets, both in the east and in the west, the the words La ilaha illallah without any meaning or without any reality to it, then they are the most uh, the most severe in sin and the most severe in being punished on the day of judgment because they have apostatized and went to the ibadah of the servants themselves so you see these words reflect on them carefully that those who say this uh, la ilaha illallah in the minarets of the east and the west without understanding its madlul its meaning or its reality then they are the most sinful and the most severely punished on the day of judgment so this is takfir without any distinction not just for specific people but the ummah as a whole and there are many of the events but we won't prolong the uh, issue there so that's Sayyid Qutb